And we welcome you to Dodgers Daily for Monday, August 22nd. I'm Casey Porter of Dodger Poke Report. I'm so glad that you've decided to tune in. It was a tough day yesterday on Sunday for the four affiliates. They all lost. Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Great Lakes, and Rancho. None of them won their games yesterday. But as always, there were some great highlights. John DePlantier had his best start in Oklahoma City. Andy Paez continues to hit the baseball very well for Tulsa. Emanuel Vargas, he continues just to be a machine at the plate. And 2022 draft pick Bubba Aleen had a big day for Rancho. So let's not waste any more time. There are a lot of great highlights. Let's take a trip down on the farm. It was a special day for John Duplantier. You know, he grew up in Katy, Texas, in the Houston area. He went to school at Rice, which is in Houston. He pitched last night in Sugarland, right next to his hometown. And boy, did he turn in a gym. He struck out nine in five innings. He blanked the Space Cowboys, the AAA affiliates of the Astros. He was 93-94 to on the four-seam fastball, and he paired that, yes, with a knuckle curve at 79 miles an hour, a slider at 88, and a changeup at 85-86. to Oklahoma City did not win this game, but it was not because of John DePlantier, the Katy, Texas native, the alum of Rice from the Houston area who pitched last night in Sugar Land, so that had to be a special day for him. The Dodgers love having fringy 4A guys around that have a lot of major league experience, especially in their pitching staff, especially in the bullpen. Hansel Robles certainly fits that role as he gave up two last night in his next outing with Oklahoma City. He gave up two runs, two hits in his one inning. His fastball, though, his four seam reached as high as 98 miles an hour, but it sat 95 to 96. He paired that with a slider that sat 89 to 90 and a changeup that was 88 to 90. So Hansel Robles, although he did give up a couple of runs, his fastball was very good. Another one of those fringy 4A guys, Jake Reed, threw a scoreless inning last night for Oklahoma City. He struck out one. He gave up one hit. He was 92 to 93 on his sinker and 83 to 84 on his slider. It was an exciting finish last night, although Oklahoma City did not win. Carson Fulmer blanked the Sugarland Space Cowboys in the top of the ninth. And then the top of the tenth, Devin Mann, as the game went extra innings, hit a double to give Oklahoma City the lead. You know, you had that international tiebreaker. That's Jacob Amaya, who started at second base. And Mann gave Oklahoma City the lead, a lead that they could not hold in the bottom of the tenth inning. But Devin Mann is hitting 258 with an OPS of 827 on the year for the Louisville alum. In what is most likely a preview of the 2022 playoffs at the end of this year, the Tulsa Drillers, the AA Tulsa Drillers, out hit Wichita 13 to eight, but lost the series finale to the Wichita Wind Surge. The AA affiliates of the Twins, seven to four at Riverfront Stadium in downtown Wichita Sunday afternoon. Brandon Lewis, however, hit home run number 17 on the year, and it was hit 96 miles an hour off the bat, and it traveled 383 very happy feet. Lewis now has hits in four of his last five games and has four home runs, four doubles, and 17 RBIs in this month of August in those 16 games he's played this month. Guillermo Zuniga threw a scoreless inning for the Drillers. He had an ERA in July of just 150, an average against of just 171, and the big Columbia native, Guillermo Zuniga, has a team-leading 11 saves. I am big on him. His fastball reaches 100-plus. He has the big slider. So, Guillermo Zuniga, a very good bullpen piece and the Dodgers organization. Andy Paja has had a three-hit day, including his 22nd double of the season. This was his fifth multi-hit game in the month and the ninth game in August where he's had at least one extra base hit. I love Andy Pajes. He has a world of talent. What more can you say about the offense of shortstop Leonel Valera since he has been promoted to double A Tulsa? He had two more hits yesterday, which makes his seventh multi-hit game of the month in August. And this month he is hitting 324 with an OPS of 1084. He's hitting 297 with an OPS of 852 since being promoted to Double A Tulsa in early June. It's rare that a team can pound out 14 hits and not win the game, but that's exactly what happened to the Loons Sunday afternoon in the capital city of Michigan against the Lansing Lugnuts, the high A affiliates of the A's. But more from the machine, Emanuel Vargas hit home run number 17, and he had two hits, an RBI, and five total bases for Great Lakes yesterday. Vargas has three multi-hit games in a row and eight multi-hit games just this month, 
and that's on top of leading the Midwest League in on-base percentage. Austin Gothier, the Hofstra product, had two hits, was on base three times, scored two runs, and had three total bases for the Loons. Gothier is hitting 280 with an on-base percentage of 455 this year. The Lightning Bolt, Aldrich DeYoung, had three hits and was on base four times for Great Lakes. He has hits in three of his last four games and is six for his last 15 with a home run, three RBIs, five runs scored, and nine total bases during that stretch. Another talented catcher in the Dodgers system, Kekai Rios, had a big day for the Loons. From his catcher spot, he had three hits and two RBIs, and he is hitting 347 in his last six games. Jeff Bells got himself into a jam and then laid down the law in the capital city of Michigan in Lansing. He got the next three outs all via the strikeout, and just like in his last outing, check this out. He recorded a strikeout for every out that he recorded yesterday. He did that in the outing before yesterday's outing, so that makes nine strikeouts in a row, and all of his last nine outs have been recorded via the strikeout for the left-hander out of Syracuse. Wow, what a job he's doing. Jeff Belge. 2022 draft pick out of Maryland, Bubba Aline had two hits for Rancho, which was his fifth multi-hit game of the month. He is, like I said, a 2022 draft pick out of Maryland. That is very impressive to watch. So there is Bubba Aline with two hits for Rancho and his fifth multi-hit game here in August. Carlos De Los Santos threw two scoreless innings for Rancho and Kelvin Batista and Reynaldo De Paula each threw one scoreless inning apiece. De Paula still hasn't given up a run in this entire month of August. That's eight outings in a row, and Batista and Santos have gone scoreless in three outings in a row apiece. I'm glad that you've tuned in to another edition of Dodgers Daily for Monday, August 22nd, and I also hope that you tune in tomorrow and that you visit DodgerPokeReport.com or visit Dodger Poke on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, and that you become a subscriber to our podcast, Dodgers Daily. Hey, if you like this video, like it, give it a comment, let me know what you think so I can keep providing you content like this in the future. As always, thanks for tuning in and go Dodgers.